Hi there, so today I just wanted to talk about dif different options and different ways of thinking about the pitch shot. Now I've got 50 yards here and it's a shot I practice, get my clients to practice a lot, uh, get their favourite club, sandwich, lob wedge, and really work out how big a swing they need to hit it 50 yards consistently through the air. And especially in the winter when you're hitting the sand and the lob wedge up in the air 50 yards, if you strike it properly it should stop pretty quickly on, uh, on soft greens in the winter. So it's good to have that shot. Obviously it's got to be quite a precise shot, so you've got to land it all the way there to a ball, but get it to stop pretty quickly. So straight away I've hit that 48 yards, so pretty happy with that. The only trouble with that is, you know, if you've got a pin at the back of the green and you are not quite as precise as that one and you hit it 53, 50 or 4 yards, you know, if you miss the green long that could leave you a tri tricky chip. So I think it's important to be, you know, have more than one shot in the locker, so I've got a pitch wedge here now, and I can make a shorter swing and getting it running up there. So if you've got the room to uh, land it, pretty good, I'll take that one. So you see I've hit two different shots there, both got approximately 50 yards. But I think if you've got green to play with and you don't have to carry a hazard, bunker, etc., the safer shot for me is to land it 20, 30 foot short, depending on conditions, getting it running up there. It's only a short little swing as well, so more margin for error. If you get the big swing of the sandwich wrong, and for those of you like to thin it, that could go flying over the back of the or anything. So try and pick a yardage, whether you do it down the driving range. I think this is one of the best things about this room here is really measuring trajectories and distances and playing around with different shots. And it's something I get my clients to do quite a lot. 50 yards with a pitch and wedge, gap wedge, sandwich, lob wedge. See if you can develop real good touch and feel with it. But I think if that, unless that pins at the front over a bunker, Put the lob wedge away and try your pitch wedge, gap wedge, get it running up there and see how you get on. But um, if you want to check all your numbers, come down and get in the simulator soon and we'll uh, test you out.